The Commander, one of the most important towers in TDS, just got a huge rework, changing its stats, fire rate buff, giving it a new ability which summons brand new military vehicles, and more. In this video, I'll be showcasing all the stat changes, values, uses, and capabilities of this tower that give my personal ranking of how good it is and whether or not this rework was a buff or nerf. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get started. At level 0, its placement cost was increased from 650 to 850 cash, its fire rate buff was increased from 10 to 12.5%, its range went from 12 to 9, and it now has a placement limit of 3. At level 1, its total cost decreased from 1500 to 1150, and its range decreased from 14 to 9. At level 2, its total cost increased from 3300 to 3650 cash, and its range decreased from 14 to 11, its damage increased from 4 to 10, its fire rate increased from 0.5 to 0.6, and its abilities buff was reduced from 30% down to 15%. On top of that, the ability now has a cooldown of 40 seconds instead of 30. At level 3, its total cost increased from 8,800 to 9,150 cash, its fire rate buff decreased from 20% to 17.5%, and its range decreased from 16 to 12.5, its damage increased from 6 to 15, and its called arms buff was reduced from 30 down to 22.5. Finally, at level 4, its total cost increased from 17,800 to 24,150 cash, and its range decreased from 20 to 14, its damage increased from 10 to 25, its fire rate buff decreased from 20 to 20%, and it gained the new support caravan ability, which summons two gunner APCs and one missile APC. The gunner APC deals 50 DPS, has 30 range, and hidden detection. The missile APC deals 50 splash damage, has a fire rate of 2, 30 range, and a DPS of 25. When using the ability, it costs 3000 cash, which is decently expensive. Now, the most important thing to look at is how good support the new commander gives and how good the caravan ability is for dealing damage. It does have a pistol attack when using the ability, but that's still pretty weak, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Starting with the most important change, the commander is noticeably worse at buffing towers. Not only did the passive fire rate buff get reduced from 25% to 20% max level, the ability went from buffing 30% at every level to only buffing 30% at max level. So, when using the ability at max level, nearby towers will have a 50% faster fire rate instead of 55%. That's not a huge deal, but it is noticeable. Let's say you have 20 max gold and minigunners within the range of the commander. Without any buff, they have a combined DPS of 2592.6. With the old 55% fire rate buff, their DPS will be buffed to 4018.53, which was an increase of 1425.93 DPS. Their DPS under the 50% fire rate buff is only 3888.9, which is an increase of 1296.3. That's 129.63 DPS less than before, and this difference will be even more apparent if you're buffing stronger towers like the Accelerator or Pursuit. Also, because the commander now has a placement limit of 3, and the ability cooldown was increased from 30 to 40 seconds, you can no longer get 100% uptime on the commander's ability. Since the ability lasts 10 seconds, and that times 3 is 30, that means there will be a 10 second period where you have to wait. That's really unfortunate, and now you can't just mindlessly spam the ability, and it overall makes the commander worse at supporting. On top of this, its reduced range makes it a lot harder to fit towers, and this combined with its new placement limit of 3 means you probably won't be able to buff every single tower on the map anymore. Another annoying change is that the ability gets better as you upgrade it, so you can no longer just get one max level commander and two level 2s, as the level 2 ability only buffs by 15%. But there's not a huge deal in the late game, as getting 3 max commanders isn't that bad. In summary, the fire rate buff is worse, but it's not a monumental nerf. The commander is still a fantastic support tower and is always going to be used a ton. But does the new ability make up for this nerf? Short answer, no. The APCs are pretty powerful and definitely are useful for defending, but their DPS just isn't high enough to be good in the late game. And the ability costing 3000 cash to use is pretty unfortunate, as the only time I'd imagine using them is in the mid game, and at that stage you don't really want to just throw your money away. But overall, the commander is still an insanely good tower, it's just a bit worse and a little less reliable. The new ability is cool, but not super helpful. So I think the commander is still comfortably an S plus tower. I don't mind this rework, and I honestly think they could have nerfed the tower even more. It's just so meta defining and you always have to use it. But how do you guys feel about this rework? Let me know your personal rankings in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. Also, if you want to talk to me, consider checking out my Discord. We got some pretty cool features, like a custom party finder bot that will automatically pair you up with other people who are trying to do the same strategy. There's a link to the server pinned in the comments. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to these channel members for supporting my content. If you want to add me as a friend on Roblox or get early access to some of my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.